Hello everyone, Oli the Repair Dude is here. In this video, I'll be talking about iRemove Tools latest update which fixes notifications, FaceTime and iMessage for those who bypass with Signal previously. For those who connect the device and verify with the iRemove Tools before 20 August will get Signal, otherwise you get a no Signal bypass. As you can see here, I have an iPhone 12 mini that I previously bypassed with iRemove Tools in the video. Let's get started with the tutorial on how to re bypass your device. The first thing to do is to back up whatever data on the device using iTunes, which I did not do so as there's nothing important on this phone. After you back up your data, you can go to Trio Tools, go to Smart Flash, select iOS 70.7. As you can see, I already downloaded the IPSW. As of the making of this video, iOS 70.7 .7 is still signed. As you can see here, I already downloaded this file. I go to quick flash mode, then click flash. I already flashed my device to iOS 70.7. .7, as you can see, so I won't be clicking the flash button. This is important as you get the new files needed to make sure that the bypass procedure goes on smoothly. Very important. You can close the trio tools after you've done the flashing to iOS 70.7 .7, and you can launch iRemove Tools once you install the latest available update from iRemove Tools website. Open that. Then click start to begin. Allow the bypass to do its thing. This will take some time, so be very patient. Once you get this, you can click cancel and let the device reboot. This will take some time. Later, I'll be showing you that notification, FaceTime and iMessage work, not just Signal. On this iOS 70.7 .7 iPhone 12 mini, pardon for the cracked screen as you can see. And boom, it's on the home screen. Let me insert the SIM card to show you that SIM works for me. I previously bypassed this phone before the patch happens. Let me insert my SIM card to show you that SIM works for this phone. I repeat, only those devices connected and verified before 20 August 2024 then get signal. Let me show you that signal's working as you can see, the signal bar. Pause work as you can see. Now I'll be trying out FaceTime, Novations, and iMessage. As you can see here, FaceTime works already. As you can see, iMessage worked properly on this phone. As you can see. Let me show you that no vision's work on this device. I already installed Instagram and signed in my first account. Let me try my second account to send some messages. As you can see here, notifications work on the iPhone with the new iRemove Tools update. That's all for the video. I really hope you enjoy my video about the iRemove Tools update and a short tutorial on how to re bypass the device. Please like, share and comment on my video and please do subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you in another video again soon. Bye for now.